lovers, today we're here to talk about Aaron Montoya, who's a freelance fashion illustrator. His works are centered on fashion-inspired newspaper art style, and recently he had his first solo exhibition. So Aaron Montoya is very influenced by vintage vogue or fashion illustration, the likes of John Demarquis and Bernard Losa. These are all um, at, during that time when advertising and, and fashion right. and, and magazines were all hand drawn. You can see it in his work, he's doing something that's different than you. Yeah. Not just in the subject matter, but in the way he, he his technique. Um, he does a lot of black and white. It's kind of like ink. These are really evident in his work, because even in his work, you can see that some of the clothing is vintage. Right, yeah. You know, really dovetails well with the title of the work we're presenting today by Ellen. It's called Past, Present, Future. And it's a mixed media acrylic with a, on, on newsprint. And it's embellished with Swarovski crystals. If you look up close, you can see that very extravagant, very yeah. sophisticated. It's really, really beautiful. It reminds me of um, uh, Gerda Wegener, mm -hmm. the, 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 you know, the Danish girl. Right. And if you see this artist, um, her husband was actually also a painter, Einar Wegener. Mm -hmm. But it was Gerda who became more well-known later on because Erin's painting reminds me of her words because they're very vintage folk mm. and she was of that era. Right. And the reason he calls it past, present and future because that percent procession of figures you see in the composition is like a history of fashion. He isn't just painting fashion. Right. It's like he's trying to give the viewer an escape. It's like a fashion edit editorial. There's always a story. He likes that idea of, a, of like a dream or a fantasy or an escape. Go another another thing that I noticed um, in terms of his influences, uh, not that it was noted during the conversations we had with him, mm -hmm. it's just that you can see with the ornamentation on the piece, mm -hmm. it's it's like Gustav Klimt. Yes. Lots of shiny, nice, like in yeah, this case it's... Pattern. It's a mixture of the figure and the ornamentation, yes. how they go together. If you think about it, it's a, it's a juxtaposition with the material that it's, it's on. That's right. Which is like which a is newspaper. 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 Yeah. Or newspaper, yeah. And I wanted to say that perhaps the reason why they call it, a, what did they say? Newspaper art style. It's because he uses the text on whether it's newspaper or a magazine to add to the piece. It isn't, I don't think it's just a gimmick because for some other artists it would be that way but with him it's like an intelligent choice I think. It's very intentional. Yeah. Yes. So the text adds to the texture not just of the background but also of the faces and the bodies and he does this a lot. There's so many details in this painting. There is and actually you can see more of those details up close when you visit our website ventana.ph Please like and subscribe. And remember, we'll see you at the galleries. Stay safe.